coronavirus disease 2019, also known as COVID-19, is a highly infectious respiratory disease caused by a virus strain that began spreading in people in late 2019 and declared as a global pandemic by the World Health Organization. Currently, there is no available treatment for the disease and vaccination is the only hope to control the surging number of cases and acquire herd immunity. Good day, everyone. My name is Reberel Almoneda and along with me are Bea Bellio, Citadel Maria Advincula, and Del Alcaide, and Maria Elizabeth Maxine Alvarez. We, the Group 1A of BSN 3D, are going to present our research study entitled Attitude Towards COVID-19 Vaccination Among Senior Citizens. Vaccine hesitancy and refusal have been identified as major public health concerns worldwide. With the senior citizens' next priority to healthcare workers in the mass vaccination in the Philippines, Majority of them show vaccine hesitancy, and only about 25% of this group has been fully vaccinated against COVID-19. We have decided on this topic to determine the beliefs of the older population and the other factors which affect their decisions in taking the COVID-19 vaccine. For the objectives, the main objective of this study was to determine the attitude towards COVID-19 vaccination among senior citizens. Specifically, this study aimed first to determine the social demographic profile of senior citizens, Second, to determine the attitude towards COVID-19 vaccination among senior citizens in terms of intention, subjective norms, perceived behavioral control, perceived susceptibility, perceived severity, perceived benefits, perceived barriers, and cues to action. And lastly, to determine if there is a significant difference in the attitude of senior citizens towards COVID-19 vaccination in terms of intention, subjective norms, perceived behavioral control, perceived susceptibility, perceived severity, perceived benefit, perceived barriers, and cues to action when they are grouped according to the aforementioned profile variable. For the methods, quantitative cross-sectional research design is the most suitable study design for this research, given the nature of the focus of the study, attitude of senior citizens, which can be influenced by various factors, appropriate to be studied for a specific point in time. The participants of the study were senior citizens, specifically those ages 60 years old and above from Barangay to La Carlota City. The sample size of the study was 148 participants, which was calculated with the use of Rousseau sample size calculator. Simple random sampling technique was used in this study. The research instrument used in this study was a researcher's made interview schedule that consists of a checklist. The interview schedule was divided into two parts, socio-demographic information and item based on the construct. The content validity and face validity of the interview schedule were evaluated with the use of good and skates validation form that showed a results of 4.69 which can be interpreted as excellent. In terms of testing the reliability and internal consistency, the researchers utilized the CONBOX Alpha that showed a score of 0.710, which was considered acceptable and reliable. For the statistical treatment, the data collected were statistically analyzed with the use of IBM SPSS, Manuit New Test, and Kruskal Wallis, followed by Dunn's method for multiple comparisons were used to determine if there is a significant difference in the attitude of senior citizens towards COVID-19 vaccination in terms of intention, subjective norms, perceived behavioral control, perceived susceptibility, perceived severity, perceived benefits, perceived barriers, and cues to action when they are grouped according to age, sex, marital status, educational attainment, religion, and vaccination status. Results for the social demographic profile of the participants among the 148 participants, more than half was aged below 71 years old, almost 60% were female, 45% of the participants were widow or widower, 46% were college graduate, and more than half of the participants were Roman Catholic. In addition, 85% of the participants are fully vaccinated, 10% are partially vaccinated, and only 5% are unvaccinated. Proceeding to the graph entitled Attitude Towards COVID-19 Vaccination Among Senior Citizens, participants exhibited a somewhat positive attitude on the areas of intention, subjective norms, perceived behavioral control, perceived susceptibility, perceived severity, perceived benefits, and cues to action. On the other hand, participants were undecided or neutral with regards to perceived barriers. Difference in the attitude of senior citizens towards COVID-19 vaccination in terms of eight constructs when they are grouped according to educational attainment. There was a significant difference in the attitude of senior citizens towards COVID-19 vaccination in terms of subjective norms when they are grouped according to educational attainment at 0.05 level of significance. 
post-op analysis revealed that there was a difference created by the college participants with the high school graduate participants. This denoted that the higher educational status, the more positive subjective norms and favorable attitude towards taking the vaccine. Vaccination status. There was a significant difference in the attitude of senior citizen towards COVID-19 vaccination in terms of intention, subjective norms, perceived behavioral control, perceived susceptibility, perceived severity, perceived benefits, perceived barriers, and cues to action when they are grouped according to vaccination status at 0.05 level of significance. Religion. There was a significant difference in the attitude of senior citizen towards COVID-19 vaccination in terms of intention, subjective norms, perceived behavioral control, perceived susceptibility, perceived benefits, perceived barriers, and cues to action when they are grouped according to religion at 0.05 level of significance. Post-hoc analysis revealed that there was a difference created by the Baptists and other religions. Fully vaccinated participants created a difference with non-vaccinated and partially vaccinated. This denotes that the Baptists were more likely to show willingness to take the vaccine and unvaccinated participants were more likely to express hesitancy. For the conclusion, overall, this study reports that senior citizens have a positive attitude towards COVID-19 vaccination, especially those individuals who have received the COVID-19 vaccine in the past. Religion has a significant role in influencing people's attitude towards health behaviors, including participating in the COVID-19 vaccination. Participants who were vaccinated have more positive attitude than those unvaccinated individuals. Unvaccinated participants were more hesitant in receiving the COVID-19 vaccine compared to those who were vaccinated at least one dose of the vaccine. This study emphasizes the significant roles of student nurses and community health nurses as forefronts in providing health education, advocating positive health behaviors, delivering care to vulnerable groups, and maintaining or restoring of health of clients in the community. Based on the results and discussion from this study, there is still a small portion of unvaccinated older adults that are susceptible to COVID-19. The researchers have formulated recommendations that can be conveyed to the involved stakeholders for the DOH to develop vaccine-related information that is tailored in consideration to the public in order to combat misinformation. For the LGUs, they should collaborate with officials and institutions to establish a school or community-based vaccination program that is open to the public. For their senior citizens and their household members, they should be more receptive of the information provided by reliable and trusted sources in order to make educated and informed decisions. To the community, there is a need to verify their source of information as the older adults are not the only group who fell victim when it comes to misinformation. To the nursing students, the researchers recommend to put their knowledge and skills to use and assist health professionals in providing education to residents about the importance of COVID-19 vaccine. To the future researchers, it will be beneficial if they are to tackle a similar study at a larger scale with more variety in terms of social demographics to create a wider scope and to give a more accurate and detailed account of the attitude of senior citizens and people in general towards the COVID-19 vaccine. Thank you.